priority. So a quick public service announcement as to why you need to go straight out and buy a aftermarket mesh grill for the front of your Alpine A110. This was a result of a recent trip. I did probably drove about two, two and a half thousand kilometers uh, in Imperial. That's about 27 fathoms, I think. So you can see that half of the radiator is absolutely covered with grasshoppers, with moths, with leaves, causing all sorts of grief. Absolute disastrous mess. Uh, I didn't exactly drive through any plagues of locusts or grasshoppers. Yes, there were locusts and little grasshoppers about pretty much everywhere, but you couldn't really see them. There wasn't a lot of splatter on the front of the car. Um, it was all done during the daytime. This is a nighttime driving with all sorts of moths and whatever else. So you could see there was just a heck of a lot of bugs and crud that I picked up. This is what one of the, this is the front right radiator. You can see how much bugs leave is collected in that. These I believe service the intercooler circuit. Uh, so not good to have the intercooler circuit, not getting as much air as possible. If you take the shroud off, that's what you see on the other side. So a fair bit of surface area has been taken up by bugs crud, even on the side radiators, which shows it's pretty good even airflow between the main and the side radiators. But again, that's a pretty horrific mess. Uh, that's from the top of the radiator as well. You can see the a large amount of crap that sort of gets jammed up at the top of the radiator in the front and the center, which sort of fills up from top to bottom. The simple answer is to go and vacuum it up, right? Well, I filled up basically two vacuum cleaners full of bugs, grasshoppers, moths, leaves, gunk. Uh, the vacuum cleaner now absolutely stinks. I need to wash out the entire vacuum cleaner with bleach to get the smell of it out. These are messy, gooey bugs that are getting splattered absolutely everywhere. It is a huge amount of mess. But yeah, sure, you can vacuum some things out. So that's what the front radiator looks like after you've vacuumed it out. Looks somewhat relatively clean. This is what the front right radiator looked like. I vacuumed it as thoroughly as I could with the plastic cowling on. And you can see there's still a decent amount of crud around the edges that you cannot get to. So you really do need to take apart the whole front end so you can get to that little plastic cowling to really get absolutely everything out. And this is the point. You need to do a huge amount of work to disassemble the entire front of the car, which was the other video I posted up, just so you can clean all this crap out of your front radiators. Also, there's gonna be other parts that these little uh, bugs, etc., get to. You can see that's the front lip. It's got grasshoppers all over it. They are wet, they are dead, they are rotting, and they absolutely stink. My entire garage now smells like wet cooked grasshoppers. It's pretty foul. So that's what the side radiators look like after you've given them a vacuum and after you've given them a brush with a, a stiff nylon brush. As you can see, there still is a bit of crud that is stuck to them. You need to wash them out as well, uh, get all of that stuff stoked. Don't forget that these radiators are at temperature when you're driving. Side radiators, not so much, but the front radiator, yes. So these bugs are potentially being cooked into your radiators. It is a right pain in the butt. You need to soak it all up there to get it soft, to get it mushy then maybe a little bit of pressure washing or a stiff brush or one of those uh, air conditioning brush things with the fins. And as we could see, so that is the main radiator close up. There's not gonna be any airflow through those. You're not gonna be able to vacuum any of that out of your radiator. It needs to be soaked, it needs to be washed, pressure washed, get those little fin cleaner, it is an absolute horrific mess. Uh, so this is why preventative maintenance is by far and away the best thing you can do. Getting an aftermarket grill, the Alpine should have come with some sort of aftermarket grill on them. There is huge amounts of crud. You cannot get to these grills easily to be able to clean them out properly. You need to disassemble the front of your car. It's about half to a two thirds of a day job to disassemble, remove the entire front of your car 
get access to the radiators, you need to soak them, you need to wash them, you need to scrub and clean them, then reassemble your car and then do it all over again depending on how much driving you need to do. That is exactly why you need to get the grill, so make sure you go out and do that and stop this from occurring.